All right, check it out. I've got the uh, original Ally X. It's uh, on a dock over there behind my TV. And uh, I am running the mainstream build of Windows 25 H2, not a dev insider version or whatever. I found this YouTube video. I'll put a, a link in the in the thread. Uh, the dude, he had this script you can run that basically unlocks the full screen experience mode, right? So I'm in full screen mode right now. Uh, this is the Xbox app, as you can see, I've got the, I'm actually on the insider version of the Xbox app too, over here. Uh, I've got my, my Xbox controller and um, using a mouse just for easy nav. But what I wanted to show you real quick was um, I prefer the way that Armory Crate looks as a unified launcher, and I'll show you why. Like this isn't too bad, you know, up here, because these are like the last games that you played, you know, very kind of similar to, you know, Xbox, um, which is fine. What looks kind of shitty though is this. I hate this, like with every part of my being. <laughs> it just looks terrible. Uh, it's like, put the box art, you know, for the games and stuff. Anyway, um, somebody asked earlier about, uh, you know, what was Armory Crate or whatever, and I think this might be handy for you new folks that have the Xbox Ally X as well. So check this out. If you go to my apps right here, Okay, you're gonna see Armory Crate. Okay, Armory Crate is Asus's uh, unified launcher. Okay, so again, remember I'm in full screen mode, and I can prove that by if I hit my Xbox button, brings up the 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 game bar. I go here, you see full screen experience, right? If I hit this, it'll take me back to uh, Windows Desktop. We don't want to do that, okay? So anyway, um, if I hit this Armory Crate button here under Apps, it's gonna launch Armory Crate, all right? And if you've never done it, this is what this looks like. Now, Armory Crate is basically how you customize your Ally X, so check this out. You go here to Settings, all right? And by the way, it's easy enough to do this with the controller. I'm just using the mouse because it makes my life a little bit easier. All right, so I believe the setting here is under general. Okay. Armory Crate SE launch automatically. Turn it on if it's not on already. Okay, for you it might not be on. Turn it on, all right? Uh, the other thing that's helpful and uh, and cool in here is like R-Sync is your lights, you can modify all that stuff and you can turn them off. Like I've got mine turned off, I, I don't like the, or sorry, I think that's up here under lighting is, is where uh, you control all that stuff. Anyway, I don't have the lights on, on mine. Uh, you can change a whole bunch of different settings and things like that about your system here in Armory Crate. But here's the really cool part. If you go to performance, and then you can go in here to like your GPU settings. So this lets you by default set some of your AMD uh, graphics settings. Um, I just have anti-lag on normally. Sometimes I've noticed that, um, that uh, AFMF, uh, sometimes it works really cool. Sometimes um, it can cause problems. So uh, sometimes <laughs> this thing wants to turn chill on, which eliminates your eliminates your limits your performance. Sorry, I'm tired. Anyway, so I just have anti lag on normally, but the main thing is you can change your memory now. By default, uh, this was at eight, but when I upgraded Armory Crate, I noticed it added this auto option. I don't know if that was always there, so I'm trying it out now on auto just to see how well it behaves and. My theory is that because of the overhead that's eliminated um, by this full screen experience, 
having it on auto is probably going to be really, really helpful um, because maybe we can get a little bit more RAM assigned to, uh, to games and stuff. So anyway, all right, so Armory Crate back here. Okay, got it set to on. Now, in here you can customize, uh, you know, you can change it to a list view which is really cool when you see that, but eh, that doesn't look that great. I like it the other way, like that. Uh, you can also go in here and you can manage your library. By the way, if you wanna customize your library, you go here and then you can change it from horizontal to vertical. So let's say or vertical to horizontal. I think I have mine set to vertical right now. Uh, but if we change it to horizontal, you see you get more like that switch uh, or Steam Deck look, you can change the size of your icons and um, you can even change how they're positioned and things like that. Um, you can remove the game titles, you know, blur backgrounds. I like mine on vertical. I like it set uh, to this uh, four wide. It's actually three wide here, but um, if I hit back, you'll kind of see. And the reason I like that is because I can see six games at a time they're real big on the screen and uh, you can kind of scroll through here and by the way yes you can filter you can do all kinds of stuff you can set favorite games up here as well and uh, your game platforms are also here the other cool thing that you can do is um, if you go back to that manage library you see how it says add game or app to library if you click that um, it will actually <laughs> bring up uh, some other stuff that you don't have options for uh, in the Microsoft app. Like, for example, my emulators like UmiDeck and, and ESDE and Eden and, you know, ChatGPT and, you know, other things that are, um, you know, really cool and useful, <laughs> especially your emulators, which is one of the cool parts about having a, a uh, Ally X. So anyway... What I'm gonna do real quick is show you guys what it looks like when you reboot. So, and then I'm gonna end this stupid video. So, I'm gonna reboot my machine real quick. We're going to restart. And we'll see if uh, Reddit is gonna let me post a video that's this long. And I'm not gonna edit this, so you're gonna have to put up with me. By the way, I'm a guitar player in a band called Over It Enemy, so if you like uh, thrash metal, heavy metal, groove metal, stuff like Pantera, Slayer, etc., check out overitenemy.com. Anyway, as you can see, the Ally X is rebooting over here in the corner. It should boot up pretty quick. In case you're wondering about the screen, those are some characters for a game that I'm working on. All right, so let me put my pen in. And you'll notice, boom, it didn't boot into the Xbox app. I mean, it's there, right? But it launched into Armory Crate, which is cool. Behind this, the Xbox app is running. So if we were to click X right here, and I'll show you that in a second, it'll go straight to that Xbox app. But look, we are in Armory Crate at boot up. It looks nice. It's in the Windows full screen experience mode. And if I really wanted to get out of here, I could you know, toggle back into Xbox just by doing that. Woohoo! I'm back in Xbox. And if I want to get back into Armory Crate, what I got to do is I've got to bring up this game bar right here and just hit Armory Crate, and now I'm back in Armory Crate. All right? That's pretty.
pretty sick. So I'm assuming Steam is gonna work the same kind of way. Also, uh, you can use that game bar as a kind of a quick toggle as well between your apps, which is also pretty, pretty cool. I wish you could add more stuff here, uh, but at least it has your launchers uh, for the different stores here. So, you know, I'll hit up Steam. Um, it's probably not set to big picture mode, or maybe it is, I don't know. Oh, I've got it set up. By the way, that's my screen name, Rapid Cadaver Dog, on all platforms. So, if you're cool and you wanna get your game on, hit me up. Yeah, now I don't have it in big picture mode, so let's put it that way. All right, so as you can see, Steam big picture mode. Um, go to the library you see how that looks way better way better all right so let's compare okay so we got steam big or steam big picture mode all right let's look at the uh, Xbox app okay this is the Xbox app and this is what the full library looks like on the Xbox app <laughs> Oh my goodness, okay. And I can switch back. Uh, you can add your Xbox games here in Steam, but Xbox kind of hides them in Windows and stuff. It's a pain in the ass to do it. So um, that's why Armory Crate rules. So anyway, uh, I didn't intend to do a 12 minute, 13 minute long video tutorial on all this stuff, but now you see how it works it's pretty cool and um you can use the launcher it looks like um, to switch back and forth between the apps and i don't have a windows desktop running right now and again we can prove it by hitting settings and look exit full screen experience that's pretty cool so hope this was helpful for you and uh, check out our new album over at envy.com peace